Welcome to Haynes, Alaska, a small town at the end of Lynn Canal. Here the tall mountains work as a virtual wind tunnel that provides our town with consistent north and south wind. Our town is already powered by a hydroelectric plant. The next obvious step would be to harness the copious amounts of wind that is found at our doorstep. Before the power systems class began the kid wind contest, we were starting our own project to put a wind turbine on the roof of our school. With the help of APNT, an anemometer was put up so that we could see what kind of power we would get out of our 0.6 kW Falcon wind turbine. Each month we were sent the data from the anemometer. This data is visually represented in the graph you see here. We began our Kidwin project by designing blades and building our frame. So Blake, you decided that you'd like to try to build uh, at least a prototype of a vertical axis rather than a horizontal axis design to test. And so your mo your first mock up is going to be made from yeah, a bit of a tin. So I'm going to try and, I don't know, um, I'm using the curvature of the can to already give me some pitch and then I'm going to somehow strengthen it to make it solid. All right. And you, you're planning to do a three blade then? Three blade, yeah. All right. Okay. We'll be eager to see how that tests out. All right, at the moment, we haven't figured out a better system for uh, imitating the wind tunnel that our design will eventually be tested in. So we're using a carpet drying fan and trying to collimate the air coming out of it a little better with, with this uh, unlikely looking garbage bag and box we have a new system. Fan oh, coming in five to ten minutes. and here, late breaking news, a new fan is coming. And uh, my dad said he has some gas powered ones that we have to use outside, but he's looking for something that will work electrically powered. That we can just plug in. Alright, that's good news. Meanwhile, we'll keep on trying this. Make this. Right. Flat now. At less of an angle and then twist okay. the top of the blade. Here Brandon's using a heat gun to try to put some curvature in his polycarbonate blade prototype. Trying to get a compound curve in it by shaping it kind of just off axis on that cylinder. Is that working, Brandon? A little bit. While some research blade designs, others prepped our frame for welding. He says we can't weld or do anything with blade. Oh really? There's gas. There's gas everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. You can smell it. Yeah, I can smell it. Not a good day for welding. Back in the classroom, progress was being made on the blades. No, no, they're so far apart. That's like that's like a millimeter. That is a millimeter. No, but we need to come both. Okay, you should watch. This one's wet, so the last one will just come. I got this. That goes the helical blade design. Trial and error at this point, mm -hmm. but it's research and development right now. Mm -hmm. That's what we'll we're see. supposed to be doing. Okay. That's right. What about you, Haxton? Coming along very nicely. How's the Lexan forming process going? You're not going to melt my gloves, are you? A little bit. All right, you guys fight again. You didn't clamp it on me? After all of our hard work, we finally got to test our turbine. The 
Kid Win Contest was a great experience for all the young engineering students in the Power Systems class. It gave them a chance to use all the critical thinking skills and knowledge of energy systems in a real world situation. Now that this contest is over, the class will continue to set up the wind and solar array on top of the school. The array will power some machine that will remind everyone that there are alternatives to fossil fuels. They just need to be developed. The students of this class will be those future developers, and it's thanks to contests like this one that inspires them to create technologies for the future. I love so I, I, so I love being right below. So that I decided I'm gonna join. I'm gonna join the game. I'll set for mediocritorian, so valedictorian, salutatorian, uh, mediocritorian. Yeah. yeah. But, 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 but the article I'm writing about basically, like, yeah, they, they, they found this um, protein.